Seasons, greetings, gastronauts. This is Keith Cooks at Christmas and I'm Keith. And today I'm gonna to do a big old chunk of roast ham, glazed with marmalade, ginger, and star anise. Bit exotic, oh yeah. So a big old roast ham is quite a splendid thing to have kicking around on, on your dining table and uh, also in a sandwich and also as part of a main meal if you have it hot. If you enjoy this video give it a like, share, subscribe etc and it's dead easy to do so let's do it. Making the roast ham is basically it's a two stage process. First of all you boil it for quite a long time, an hour or two, in a seasoned flavoured liquid. And then you mess about with it for a bit and you finish it off with a glaze in the oven. So I've got a two and a half kilo chunk of gammon, I'll tell you more about that in a bit. I've got an onion, two carrots, two sticks of celery, ten peppercorns, a small handful of parsley, half a litre of cider and a half a litre of orange juice and we'll need some water to top it up with. Oh and three bay leaves. So this is uh, Probably a terrible choice, <laughs> but it was cheap. Okay, the label says it's a cured smoked gammon joint with added water. Bargain! So it's actually ingredients 87% pork and water and salt, dextrose stabilizer and sodium nitrate. Now, I'm not scared about all the hype about nitrites and cancer because, well, I'm Possibly I'm stupid, but you know, I think you, you would have to consume a massive amount more than normal people do for it to be a threat. There you go. A lot of salt, 34 grams of salt per kilo, two and a half kilos. It's this much salt. Can you believe that? That is outrageous. So to try and get rid of some of that, first of all, we'll boil it in water. And also, you know, it's covered in netting. I'm always a bit suspicious of this netting stuff. And I can see underneath here for crackling, they've scored the skin with parallel lines, which could be a problem because I want to score it with diamonds. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. This needs to go in a big pan. Okay, bigger pan. That's four litre capacity, not enough. Biggest pan I've got really. It doesn't say what the capacity is. I'm not gonna measure it. <laughs> there we go. Get in, get in. Okay, good. Now I need to top that up with cold water till it just covers it. So we'll just prep the veg while that's coming to the boil. Cut your onion into big chunks or halves, well, thirds, and you can leave the skin off. This, Cause this is gonna be like a stock that we're cooking the ham in. So all these veggie bits will get chucked away at the end. So cut your celery into bits. You don't need to do anything with the parsley or the bay leaves. All right, that is boiling now. And there's quite a bit of scum on the top as well. So we need to just get rid of the water and the scum. So we'll add the cider and the orange juice. All of these veggie things, stray bits of parsley, and top it up with water, just enough to cover the ham. Now we'll whack that back on the stove, bring it to the boil, turn it down to a simmer. How? That's hot for <laughs> at least an hour, possibly an hour and a half, but basically until the internal temperature reaches 68 degrees Celsius. Right, that's had an hour, so I'm going to test the internal temperature. Remember, we're looking for 68 degrees Celsius. Nowhere near. <laughs> so, um, okay, I'll, I'll give it another half hour and try again. Right, I was being a bit of a twit there. It won't reach that temperature until it's been in the oven, unless you kind of, you know, boil it for ages and ages, and that'd be too long. So. Ooh. I'll just check it though, just out of interest. Oh, it's not far off now, 62. So, okay. I'll let that cool down a bit. 
And while that's happening, I'll prepare the glaze. To make the glaze, I've got, well, 150 grams of marmalade, orange marmalade, and that'll be probably about half that jar. 100 grams of light brown sugar, demerara sugar, two star anise plus some extras for decoration, the juice of two limes, and uh, a couple of centimetres of ginger, or if you're sensible, some ready-made ginger puree. You need to peel the ginger and you can do that with a spoon. Grate that into a pan. And cut your limes in half and juicy fry them. Add the sugar and the equivalent of two star anise. These are all old and broken up, but if you can find some whole ones, save those for decoration. Then the marmalade. That should do it. And we heat that on the stove until the sugar and the marmalade have melted. Then take it off the heat and let it cool down and thicken somewhat. Now I'm going to get rid of this netting. So now we've got our skin. Um, and you can see the, the slashes I was talking about. Um, but actually we, we want to get the skin off to expose the fat because that's that's what we're interested in although this would be great if you roast it to make crackling so now just cut through the fat not through the meat they're smaller than i'd normally do but we're governed by the slashes that were already there now i've got the glaze and it's it's gone kind of runny now you want your oven heated to 200 celsius for a fan oven, a convection oven or an air fryer oven like mine. That's 220 for a conventional one and that is gas 7. So I've got a little oven tray lined with foil. This is going to turn like treacle and it'll, it'll mess up the tray. So paint the meat with the glaze and try and get, yeah, try, try and lose those bits of star anise because that'll be, uh, too crunchy to eat. And we'll just spread a, a few whole star anise across it. If you've got any, and I haven't, mine, mine have all disintegrated, so I think it's time to get new stock. So this needs to go in for about 40 minutes, and we'll baste it with a glaze two or three times during that time. So off we go. Okay, time's up, let's have a look. Interesting. So it hasn't got the uh, defined squares or diamonds that I was expecting. I'm gonna leave that till tomorrow and then I'll carve some beautiful thin slices from it. You could eat it now if you wanted to, but uh, yeah, tomorrow. Right, this is looking moderately fab, so let's cut some slices off it. Oh yeah, now I'm going to take some photos and do a taste test. Taste test time! I mean, normally you wouldn't eat this on its own. You'd have, you know, spuds and veggies and stuff, or you'd have it cold in a, a sandwich, nice, thick, crunchy bread. But, mmm, mmm, yeah. Oh, the, the, the marmalade glaze really, it's really tasty. Little bit of English mustard, the hot stuff. Mm. Well, that's really wonderful. and makes a complete change from the usual sort of honey roast ham. Um, so yeah. Have a go, it's easy and it's tasty. So thanks for watching, have a good Christmas and see you next time.